Well, good afternoon, you guys. Welcome back to Realty Rides. Today, we're going to change things up a little bit. Um, it's almost springtime. I'm going to close the sunroof because it's getting a little noisy in here. Welcome back to Realty Rides, you guys. Um, so we're going to change things up a little bit. It's almost spring here on beautiful Whidbey Island, and I'm enjoying a nice little country drive. Um, we're going to do some spring cleaning, which means for me, I got to do some spring selling. I want to grow the channel. Uh, the channel is doing great, by the way. You guys are just giving me thousands of views, and I'm almost at 225 subscribers. I'm working my way towards a thousand, like we mentioned before. But in order to do that, I need to get a couple of extra dollars in because uh, I've got money spread all over the place right now, and I want to make sure that I give you guys really good content. Plus, I want to possibly acquire maybe an item or two down the road to kind of enhance the experience of uh, of our channel. So, first thing up for sale, I'm going to sell two things. Actually, take the back. I'm going to sell three things. I'm going to sell two motorcycles. And I'm going to sell a really, really special vintage sax uh, saxophone, a tenor saxophone. And uh, so the first thing up, first up for sale right now is the bike that you guys see in my intro. And that is a 1965 a Harley Davidson bobber that was specially built by Crown Customs down in Vancouver, Washington, in association with Nash Motorcycle Company. And we've owned that bike for about probably about seven years and originally we bought it for because of the fact that it was so beautiful I wanted to ride it I wanted a custom bike I could never build a bike like that um, but over the years as you saw I built a little wing and I built Elvira I built other motorcycles I'll build the bike that I'm going to be selling in addition to this one here it has uh, engraved cases on both sides the engine has been completely rebuilt um, it has a magnificent paint job pinstriping by Mitch Kim on it it's an absolutely magnificent bike the front springer was built by Jonah Mead by himself he built it himself it's a handmade springer front end it's got a 21 inch wheel in the front no brakes and a 16 inch wheel in the back with a drum brake it has all sorts of special features like, for example, the shifter, I'm sorry, the brake lever on the left-hand side is an old Hearst shifter from the 60s, from back maybe an AC Cobra or some kind. And then on the right side, you'll see the magneto that uh, will start the bike up. So the bike has no fluids except for a little bit of oil and every half, you know, every couple of weeks I kick the bike over to make sure that all the internals are, are spinning. But the bike will start and uh, um, I do want to sell it because I have to get it out of the living room and I want to use those proceeds to grow our channel and give you guys a little bit more interesting content down the road. Um, it has a handmade leather seat. It, like this thing is completely handmade. You can see by the pictures, engraved cases, beautiful paint job, springer front end, um, silver uh, chrome chain in the back. It is, there's so many different items on it that uh, it'll just blow your mind. And I'll leave some of the items in the description so you can kind of read through it yourselves. But I do want to sell the bike, and uh, the price is on top here. I'm, you know, asking this. And if you want to, if you're interested in it, then definitely hit me up by this email, erwinshalker96 at gmail.com. I'll leave that in the description as well, and, and my telephone number too, you can contact me direct. And if you're in the Washington State, Seattle area, I can deliver the bike to you personally, or you can come over and take, take a look at the bike yourself. But it's, at some point, you know, things have to go, and I'm trying to clean up, um, you know, our inventory a little bit. So, um, whoever buys the bike, I will make sure that the engine gets started. By the way, the reason why it didn't get started is because... I would have to put fluids in it, oil and gasoline, and of course primary fluid, and then I wouldn't be able to put it back in the living room. Not only that, once it started, the pipes would get blued out, and then it, it just won't be the same bike. I want the next owner to have that privilege of seeing the bike start up after all these years. And um, I will pay for the magneto installation and make sure that the bike is started and running 
before our title is transferred over. Okay. 1965 Harley Davidson, that's the intro bike that's in our intro every day, um, every time you watch the video. Um, let me know and um, I will definitely make a good deal for you guys and you'll have one of these three really great positions that we've owned for many years. So thanks for watching Realty Rides, you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next ride. Bye.